Welcome to the D and D Morning Show. Da -da -da. Oh, not this again! Da -da. I thought we were over this. This has got to be our intro. No. It always comes. No. To you. I can't help it's it. It's got to be done. Da -da -da. Stop. Make stop. Da -da -da. Please, please, please stop. <laughs> what do we got going on? Well, you are going to start us oh off with the fun gosh. facts. All right. So Dorothy always amazes me. Because um, it's just never, amazing. Never ceases to amaze me. Maybe that would be better. I was trying to fold this blanket, and sometimes when I do things, Dorothy redoes them, like folding a blanket. Only when he does it incorrectly. <laughs> I don't do it right. All right, so I was folding this blanket, and I put it over the couch, and then just, she just just a second. This blanket, just to give them a visual, this blanket is the one that like drapes on the back of our couch. You know, when you when you get chilly. And you you cozy up, so it's, it's that blanket. Keep going. Was that, it was that important? <laughs> it was very important detail. Oh, it could important. be any kind of blanket. Alright, so... <laughs> I was telling them the me specifics off. about the blanket. You were telling them that you were helping clean up and you were folding the blanket. It just takes over. <laughs> takes <laughs> what over. happened? You want to tell the story? <laughs> so, you probably do. So I was folding the blanket and I put it over the couch and then she goes, follows me behind me and then she like refolds it. And I was like, what are you doing? And she's like, you didn't do it right. And we had a good laugh. And then she's, I said, what do you mean I didn't do it right? And she said, you folded it like a hot dog and it needs to be folded like a hamburger. I was like, what are you talking about? I said, you folded it the wrong way. You need to fold it in a hamburger fold. You folded it in a hot dog fold. You never heard of this before. I've never heard of that. So if you guys, any <laughs> watcher, listeners, watchers out there have heard of this, please let me know. If you're a teacher, I'm sure you've heard of this. Hot dog fold. <laughs> no, sorry. This is hamburger fold. Hot dog fold is like this. Long way, like a hot dog. <laughs> it hell of a hot dog. This way, hamburger. So he folded it this way. I needed it to be folded. This way. Oh, you yeah, it back backwards. You folded it this way. Oh yeah. You said I need to be folded. That I way. wanted it folded this, it like a hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. <laughs> anyway, hamburger fold, hot dog fold. You never heard that before. I'm like, are you kidding me? No, I use that like every day. She never, even, she never even told me. It. <laughs> Six years. <laughs> never heard that before. Never. All right, let's move on. <laughs> okay, move on. So what we're talking about today is uh, how to, some, some helpful tips I suppose, on getting rid of a pisky cough. But before we get into kind of remedies, Drew, maybe you could talk a little bit about prevention first? Or no? You don't want to talk about prevention? <laughs> just went like, no, I just meant like cough, cough or like not feeling well in general. I think it mm -hmm. all goes together. Yes. But I mean, I just feel like if we're always, like if we're always working on prevention, let's say for example, like we have green smoothies in the morning. We often mm -hmm. talk about that. So we have uh, our greens in there. We have ginger. We have, um, I suppose I don't need to go over it again, but we have we have lemon, celery, cucumber. Like these things are bioavailable for our body. They're easily digestible, mm -hmm. utilizable. Our body. Um, <laughs> utilizable. Is that a new word? I don't know. It's me. <laughs> I like it. So, but these are just nutrients that our body needs, and like ginger, for example, is known to. Um, improve our immune system and then we have a like lemon it's alkalizing so having an alkalized body is much better than an acidic body so that can fight off um, like diseases and little bugs that come about you so these things that are, are we're always doing to prevent we talk about kombucha mm -hmm. well a lot of our immune system resides in our gut like I think 75% of it so that has a lot like what we put in our body and what we put in our um, you know what's fighting our immune system has a lot to do with food so if we're always preventing with different forms of food, that's definitely going to help us stay strong and healthy when we're, you know, when these little things come, like, it seems like the whole community goes through, like, bugs or, like, not feeling well or, I don't like the word sick or sickness, but, like, it seems like it goes around and everyone's yes. getting it. <laughs> yeah, and I noticed that a lot at school, right, because... If, if one kid is not feeling well, then it, it like cycles through the whole classroom. And same with our staff, right? If one teacher isn't top notch, then like it cycles through. But us being preventionists, <laughs> Ooh, good one. I find that over the last few years, like it hasn't cycled through me as much as it has in the past mm -hmm. because we're constantly preventing. 
And then the other thing is if a bug does come up, it's usually gone pretty quick. A couple of days like, usually as opposed to two weeks. Right. Yeah. So cough, like I was dealing with a bit of a cough, it's still lingering. Pesky one, yeah. And uh, we, thought, we thought it'd be a good idea to talk about the things that we've done in prevention, which is a lot to do with what we talk every day here or every week about uh, prevention, living a healthy lifestyle, and then treatment. Mm -hmm. Because I think... The remedies. Remedies? Sure. Treatment sounds very official. Maybe. Home remedies? Home <laughs> remedies. <laughs> so I think a lot of the, those, we feel like a lot of those conventional types of things are filled with uh, ingredients that our body, <laughs> I'm trying to be politically correct here, uh, ingredients that our body should be having regardless of if you're not feeling well mm -hmm. or if you're feeling fantastic. I think it's safe to say like coloring for example. Why is cough syrup bright pink? <laughs> Ask yourself that one! <laughs> right? Yeah, the things like coloring, that. Flavoring. Flavors. Why does it taste like cherry? <laughs> Ain't got no cherries in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there's a lot of things that, a lot of reasons to stay away from that kind of stuff. Now, if you need that kind of stuff, like, you know the difficult part is that we were, we were raised with that stuff. Mm -hmm. Like you have, you have, you get a cough or you're not feeling well, then I think NyQuil is a big one. Yeah, right? yeah. Yeah, some NyQuil. I'm sure there's an endless list of different types of products and uh, products or ingredients that mm -hmm. we would normally have, but we were, we want to give you some suggestions on how to stay away from that or what you could use to, that's a bit, a bit more natural, I suppose. Mm -hmm. And I think it's interesting because we talk a lot about routines and we developed this little routine for a couple of weeks trying to help you with your pesky cough, you know, so he would go through these, uh, little sequences. So first thing you'd get uh, your kombucha in the morning, then uh, a green smoothie still, like he was still doing those prevention things, and some cough syrup, some homemade cough syrup, and then um, you would do, one other, there was like something else, oh coconut water. So there's all of these like little things that became routine for a couple of weeks. Well they too. are routine. Uh, well, yeah, the kombucha, the green smoothie and stuff, but we added different things in, like the homemade cough syrup, cough syrup and the essential oils, and right. we added those things into the routine. Yeah, that's a good point to bring up because I think when we don't feel well, we get away from what keeps us healthy. Right. So we don't think about how we've been healthy because we're not feeling well, it's not on our mind, but like those, that food, like food is super mm -hmm. important, like food heals, it cures, it prevents, so we need that food to cure us. So mm -hmm. many times I'm not feeling well, we don't want to get up, move around. Like, Unfortunately, at this time when I wasn't feeling well, I didn't really get that. Didn't really get that like sitting in one position or like, you know how you don't want to get up or do anything. <laughs> There's a couple days where I dealt with like a little bit of low energy. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it's a little bit different because we're always full of energy. Yeah. And stick with those routines, like those morning routines and the things mm -hmm. that we added mm -hmm. as well to, to boost my immune system and, mm -hmm. and to, to you know fight off these things that attack our immune systems. Mm -hmm. So what was in our, your homemade? I'm very excited to share with you. But, so it was uh, homemade cough syrup. So three ingredients only. On the stove, you're gonna put in a little, in a small saucepan, it was a quarter cup of honey, and nice raw, like, unpasteurized, unpasteurized local. local, nice honey. <laughs> and it was two tablespoons of coconut oil, and it was three tablespoons of fresh juiced lemon. And you just melt that all together until it becomes like a syrup. Low heat, very low, slowly. Yeah, yeah, low heat. Yeah. Oh, and I mean. then of course, each time you would like some or need some, it has to be heated up because the coconut oil will harden. <laughs> but just I just kept it on really, really low in it for you know, throughout the day. Mm -hmm. And then when you need some Go get yourself a little shot of cough syrup. <laughs> oh Woo! Got a little excited there. <gasps> yeah, so those things like that, the homemade cough syrup was a, something that certainly helped, like extra water. So mm. being important, it's important to always stay hydrated. That's the other thing I was joking today that you know I was I'm feeling better, I feel more energized, and I just want to keep feeling better. So I'm drinking more water. And I took it with Dorothy and I were joking and said, I feel like I've been going to the bathroom every five minutes this morning. Every six minutes, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but staying hydrated is a trick, excuse me, staying hydrated is an important one. Mm -hmm. That's why we added in the coconut water. Mm -hmm. There's also trace minerals in coconut water mm -hmm. as well, or sorry, not trace minerals, but um, 
Oh, sorry, electrolytes. Electrolytes. I didn't know what he was getting at there. I bunched there. <laughs> <laughs> so electrolytes is a big one as well if you're not feeling well because many times we don't have anything going in our system. Mm -hmm. But it's important to stay hydrated to flush out those toxins. Mm -hmm. And then we talked about, talk about essential oils. Sure. Yeah. So let, I just have to think here for a sec what we were doing. But <laughs> oregano is a great one for immune system. So taking that orally or rubbing it on the bottom of your feet or where, you know, it's, it's powerful stuff though. You gotta be careful and with, that, with that oregano. And also throat, there's a blend out there called RC and it's wonderful for nasals and chests, like all of this, this area. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you can put some all in your, on your chest, on your back, on your neck, on your nasals. It's, it's wonderful stuff for that. What else for thieves. thieves? How could I forget about thieves? Uh, diffuse it. Put it again. Put it on your feet. Put it behind your ears, on your wrists, on your hands. Inhale, thieves. So tea was another one that mm -hmm. uh, is essential <laughs> to your yeah. health. And again, something that we consume on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. But but it's important to remember that those routines that you work so hard to develop, especially when you're not feeling well, you have to stick with them. Mm -hmm. and so tea was a big one. Uh, dried lily leaves. Mm -hmm. Is a uh, was is known to help your throat soothe the throat. That's a better word. Thank you. Soothe. <laughs> you, uh, you need some words. You just come to me. I got some words. <laughs> uh, lemon, mm -hmm. honey, and honey, and ginger. Mm, ginger. In tea. So that's one of our favorite go-tos, uh, not only for prevention but in what did I say? I say treatment. What did you say? Remedy. remedy. <laughs> nice. Remedy. Home remedy. So that's a nice <laughs> little home remedy as well. A uh, nice detoxing bath definitely mm -hmm. helped. So um, we put, why don't you tell our, tell them our bath recipe. <laughs> our bath recipe. Detoxing it, bath detoxing recipe. Detoxing bath. So you, it's the pink salt. I, Himalayan salt. There you go. Wow. Need some words? I need some words <laughs> now. Himalayan salt, bath salts, baking soda, and lavender is what it's the little concoction. Yeah. So about half a cup of baking soda, a couple tablespoons of the bath salt, and then a couple drops of lavender. Couple drops of lavender. Put that on as hot as you can mm, possibly handle as it. As hot as you could stand. And then when you get out, you'll still be sweating, but you're sweating out those toxins. That has mm -hmm. a lot to do with um, flushing our flushing our body out with those toxins through hydration mm -hmm. with water, coconut oil. But then you sweat out toxins as well. So mm -hmm. if you have a super hot bath with some of these little treatment suggestions mm -hmm. that that'll make a difference as well yeah very detoxing mm -hmm. that combo <laughs> let's move on what do we got let's talk about a recipe what's your department <laughs> did you like how i looked at him let's talk about a recipe blankster <laughs> no idea <laughs> I, this one is so easy it tastes so good I, I actually, well, I, I, I think I, I made a batch or two. Do you, go ahead. I'm not going to explain this oh, one. Oh, no, no. I'll let, I don't want to step on your toes. <laughs> but this one is so easy and it tastes so good. Dorothy does most of the baking. I'm more like a stir fried green smoothie type of guy. Yeah. So Dorothy takes care of most of the baking. So I helped out with this one. It's so easy. So, mm -hmm. sorry. Can Great one for a first timer. <laughs> <laughs> Only five ingredients in these peanut butter cookies, and they are, like Drew said, they're delicious. So, of course, you got CTP in there as your base, some honey or maple syrup for the sweetener, applesauce instead of um, an oil or a butter, and then you've got the peanut butter, of course, and some vanilla. So we do it super simple, throw all of those five ingredients in the bowl and just stir it all up into a batter and then ball them out. Yeah, you just take <laughs> Roll a, them into balls. A tablespoon, tablespoon out. Well, depending on how big you want your cookies. Mm -hmm. Tablespoon of the batter and then I pass the door to Dorothy. She rolls it up. <laughs> Got a little system going on. And then... You, uh, you line them up on the mm -hmm. dish. And then you squishes them with the fork. Yeah. And then they go in only eight to 10 minutes. They're, they cook so quickly. Got to be careful because they do burn fast. Mm -hmm. So if you're not, if you're just a few minutes even behind getting them out of the oven, they're they might be toast. Hey, you just have to watch them. <laughs> just watch them. Yeah, yeah. So good. They're so easy and they're healthy. I mean, mm -hmm. like, these ingredients that we use, our body, these are things that our body needs and wants. Yeah. These are quality nutrients. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to feel guilty by consuming an extra cookie or two. Yeah. 
Yeah, just watch out. I just thought of this as we were talking with the applesauces because they sneak stuff in the applesauce. So make sure you read ingredients on the applesauce to make sure it's hopefully just apples. Yeah, that's a nice way to replace oil, by the way. That's right. why you're replacing it. That's why we put applesauce. No oil, no butter, applesauce instead. Mm -hmm. yeah. No refined sugar. No refined sugar. Yeah. So super easy. Easy. Minutes. Takes minutes because you yeah. throw five ingredients in a bowl. Mix Whip it, it up. up. Eight to ten minutes in the oven. Like, I don't think... Like, that's the quickest snack ever. <laughs> Does it get any easier? Does it? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, speaking yeah. of snacks, like this is a, a nice little snack to take with you. So mm -hmm. you take an apple, for example, or a banana. And then you take a couple of cookies with you, and that's a clean, healthy snack to mm -hmm. you know, increase your metabolism, keep your metabolism burning, mm -hmm. and uh, and it's sweet, so you feel like you're having a treat. Well, it is a treat, right? Yeah, a nice treat. It could be like a clean dessert. Mm -hmm. You know, have a couple, a cookie or two mm -hmm. after instead of a pail of ice cream. Yeah. Or <laughs> bag we, of chips. Well, we actually did serve it as dessert. Mm -hmm. We had some family over not too long ago, and we had the cookies and some coconut. Um, ice cream mm -hmm. as a dessert, like so quick and easy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you got a quote then? Yeah, there? let's end with the quote. Okay. So the quote is kind of like a personal affirmation almost. And we have it, well, we used to have it posted in our kitchen. <laughs> I don't know what I want to, but it says, I eat to fuel my body. So that's just a nice reminder or nice words to have up in, on your pantry or on your fridge to just remind yourself that is the purpose of, of, of food is to fuel our bodies. That's right. Mm -hmm. The food that we put in our body turns to energy. Mm -hmm. Good quality food. Yes. We put in low quality types of toxins and substances our body can't recognize. It's stored as body fat. So if you have that little affirmation that Dorothy's mm -hmm. talking about, then we have a better opportunity to understand that our body's gonna turn that good quality food into energy. She's mm -hmm. gonna you know, wake you up, blab in your day, and mm -hmm. give you the opportunity to do things that you otherwise probably wouldn't want to. Yeah. Let's wrap it up. That's it. <laughs> Thanks for joining. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next one. Catch you later.